One way of monitoring 404 errors on your website is to track 404 error activity in a web analytics tool like GA4. Let me show you how. To begin, there are two things you need to do on your website's 404 not found error page first. The first thing you need to do is you need to have a unique title tag on your website's 404 error page. For example, on my website, the title tag for my not found error page is page not found. The next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that analytics code is added to your website's 404 error page. As an example, on my website, you can see that on the not found error page, Google Tag Manager is installed. GA4 is loaded through Google Tag Manager. Now that those two pieces are in place on our not found error page, we can look at the reports in GA4. To access this report in GA4, you want to begin by loading the pages and screens report. To load the pages and screens report, click on reports, then click on engagement, then click on pages and screens. Once on the pages and screens report, add path as a secondary dimension. That way you can see the URL of the specific 404 error. To do this, click on the plus sign, then select page path and screen class. This will add a column to the table showing you the URL along with the title. Once you have that in place, you can search for the unique page title. This is the page title of your website's 404 error page. In the case of my website, the title was page not found, so I can search for not found. And then once I search for this, I can see all the not found error pages that have received traffic over this time period. If you have any questions about monitoring 404 errors or other aspects of managing the technical SEO factors on your website, please let me know. You can email me at matthew at elementive.com.